A Lexington County town has been booming lately and it's waking up the neighborhood. We have received dozens of emails, Facebook messages, phone calls about what people describe as loud explosions in the Red Bank area. That's where we find our Taylor Kearns tonight, live in Red Bank, to tell us what he has learned. Taylor? Well, Judy and Ben, there have been no big booms today, but as you mentioned during the past two weeks, neighbors have reported loud explosions that rattled their windows late at night or early in the morning. Very loud. It was very noticeable and it shook the house just slightly. Police dispatchers say the officer responding to the blast heard it from his patrol car, but couldn't find a source. You hear it and you're like, you want to kind of call it your friend? And we start with the loud boom heard by many and so far explained by none. That's right. It turns out those booms were heard not just here in the tri-state, but all across the country. So what is it? Nicole Nizolik spent the entire day. The sound was like a war bomb. <laughs> Stacy Lowry, who lives on Old Coal Mine Road in Newburgh, had just put her kids to bed and was sitting on the couch when she heard it. A huge explosion. Not, you definitely knew it wasn't a firework going off. Because I've never heard anything like it. Like, very disturbing. Stacy. Trying to get to the bottom of a mysterious boom. It was reported par across parts of the southern tier. We've gotten emails, Facebook comments, calls to our newsroom all about this. The and it happened throughout the evening, and we've been checking with the National Earthquake Center website. So far, there have not been any reports of an earthquake in our area. Those calls started coming into our newsroom around 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Folks as far away as Alfred Allman in Allegheny County wanted to talk about what they experienced. One volunteer fire chief we spoke with overnight said the boom was so loud, he thought a house might have exploded. Just all of a sudden, there was just this humongous boom, just one boom. I mean, I honestly thought like a house blew up. Started looking for, you know, a plume of smoke or something. seems to be a backwards weather picture freezing in the southwest record warmth across much of the east take a look at the map tonight out west in phoenix where people usually go to beat the cold it'll be right around freezing overnight reno nevada nine degrees back east pittsburgh will be 67 degrees tomorrow 30 degrees above normal columbia south carolina nearly 80. and in california tonight farmers like this one near fresno are struggling to see Pounded by snow and sleet, this weekend, much of Utah is under a winter storm warning. When I started shoveling, it came up to my knees. With another 10 inches forecasted, Tracy Lofthouse's backyard is already under two feet of snow. This is uh, crazy. We've never seen this much snow before. Before the morning, California, Interstate 5, the grapevine, finally reopened after a 16-hour shutdown. This 40-mile stretch could again close tonight. It's not like the California I grew up with. I grew up in San Diego and it's always warm down there. But in San Diego, the temperature was a frigid 35, colder than Chicago. Well, we've got all time records in January set in Florida and another one today at Quincy, Illinois. That will start to transition though as we get into the midweek. Another heavy rain event for Louisiana, already reeling from a foot of rain earlier this week. And then by next weekend, it looks like that very cold air. record lows in many cities across China. But aside from fueling inflation, the winter has created some unexpected inconveniences for some residents. This winter in China has been one of the coldest in decades, with average temperatures in some regions hitting their lowest in over 40 years, according to state-run media. China's national average temperature dropped to 25 degrees Fahrenheit since November 20th, the lowest in 28 years. 
Rescuers sift through the debris left behind by a massive landslide in China's Yunnan province that has killed 46 people. The 1,000-strong team employing heavy machinery searched the area Friday and Saturday. 19 children were among those killed as the landslide swallowed more than a dozen homes, according to state TV. Natural Some areas in Butuan City were flooded due to non-stop rains, forcing officials to cancel classes in some schools. ABS Quick measuring 5.9 on the Richter scale hit northeast India a little after 7 this morning to be exact at 7.13. Now tremors were felt in Assam, Manipur and Meghalaya. Saros Körfezi'nde bir deprem meydana gelmiş merkez üssü Saros Körfezi olan 5.8 okuyayım 5.8 büyüklüğünde Kuzey Ege'de sayın seyirciler görüyorsunuz Gelibolu yarımadası. Off. State environmental officials report a huge fish kill at Masonboro Island. The Atlantic Menhaden appear to have clustered in a narrow area at Lucens Creek. One man knows the area well. It's the lead at 11. If you're a coast watcher, you know the scene is always changing. But today, the changes were destructive. I saw all these birds. Couldn't believe the number of birds more than I've ever seen. I actually took video of it because it was so unbelievable and then I got to shore and I understood why. There was about a million uh, little menhaden fish. They're in the water sunk, they're on the shore, they're just everywhere. Jerusalem has virtually ground to a standstill after Israel's worst snowstorm for 20 years. Up to 15 centimeters fell overnight, forcing public transport and schools to shut down. The city's emergency department urged residents to stay at home and make it a day with the family. On the roads, many vehicles which had ventured out got stuck. The main highway between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv was reported to be blocked. There's been severe weather too in the West Bank where hail, snow and heavy rain brought flooding and landslides. Four Palestinians died and dozens of houses were flooded in the Gaza Strip. Raging bushfires that have swept across Australia continue to spread, as strong winds and record temperatures fan the flames. Firefighters are still battling 130 fires across New South Wales. Back now with some incredible pictures that caught our eye today. A freak dust storm in Western Australia, a continent already dealing, as you may know, with terrible heat and wildfires on the run. An amazing sight as a huge storm scooped up the sand and then spit it out. Vast in scale and frightening in intensity. 
The New South Wales bushfires are being fanned by ferocious winds and some of the highest temperatures the state has ever witnessed. Roads in Australia melt as record temperatures hit the outback. 90 fires were burning in the state of New South Wales, which have destroyed more than 200,000 acres of land, with tens of thousands of livestock being lost. When it becomes that so. Vast in scale and frightening in intensity, the New South Wales bushfires are being fanned by ferocious winds and some of the highest temperatures the state has ever witnessed. Four large regions have been placed at the very highest state of alert, catastrophic. It means the bushfires are uncontrollable and fast moving. Residents have been strongly urged to escape their path. The ground level we saw. Pressures in some areas of devastation have now passed 50 degrees, causing the Bureau of Meteorology to add a new colour, deep purple, to the charts in order to show the intense heat generated from parts of the inferno.